Are you confused anytime you give your heart patient an inotrope or a chronotrope? Well, in this video, I'm gonna break those down for you and help you understand those drugs a little bit better. Hi, my name is Chance and I'm one of the nurse educators here at NRSNG. And today, we're gonna go over the difference between inotropes and chronotropes and what that means for your heart patients. Well, in order to understand that, we first have to understand what each one means. So let's look at inotropes first. Inotropic drugs do one thing. They focus on the contractility of the muscle. When we're talking about inotropic drugs, we need to think about the two classes that we have. We've got positive and negative inotropes. Well, positive inotropic drugs mean that every time the heart beats and the muscle contracts, it's actually going to do more forcefully. To contrast that, Negative inotropic drugs weaken the contractions. So positive inotropic drugs squeeze a little bit harder, inotropic drugs relax a little bit more. The first one we're gonna look at is those positive inotropes. Remember, we're trying to improve the contractility. So these are gonna be drugs like dobutamine, digoxin, and milrinone. When we're talking about negative inotropic drugs, these are gonna be things like beta blockers and calcium channel blockers. These really work to relieve some of that contraction and help reduce things like hypertension. Now that we've covered the inotropes, let's look at chronotropes. Chronotropes deal with time. So what are we talking about when we discuss chronotropic drugs? Well, we are talking about drugs that influence the electrical conductive system of the heart. In particular, we, what we're saying is, we wanna know how these drugs influence how fast the heart beats. Well, just like with inotropes, we have positive and negative chronotropic drugs. Chronotropic drugs, the positive ones, can actually cause the heart rate to go up. And with the negative inotropes, they'll actually decrease that speed. One thing I do wanna caution you on though, is that these drugs can be really complicated. Some drugs influence the inotropic effect differently than they influence the chronotropic effect. So be sure to pay attention to every side effect and precaution that you need to, to make sure your patient's safe. Not all of these drugs are made equally. So when should we use positive chronotropes? Well, we wanna use that when the heart rate is low when we want to speed it up. So these are going to be situations like heart block or sinus bradycardia. So just remember, if heart rate's low and we wanna speed it up, we're gonna use a positive chronotrope. When are we going to use a negative chronotrope? Well, we're gonna use a negative chronotrope if the heart rate is too high or if there's a situation like hypertension. Now, I also wanna precaution you, these drugs aren't always indicated for maybe some severe tachycardia, especially supraventricular tachycardia. There's a whole set of drugs that are specific for that. But if the heart rate's high and we need to bring it down just a little bit, we can do it with these negative chronotropes. So what drugs are you going to use to improve the chronotropic effect? Well, first you're going to use adrenergic agonists or sympathomimetics, or another way to look at it, is epinephrine and norepinephrine. If your patient's heart rate is too low and we need to get it up in a critical, quick way, that's one way to do it. Now, the other way to do it is also through atropine. Atropine is really indicated a lot of times for sinus bradycardia. So it wouldn't be unheard of to see atropine at the bedside or on a doctor's PRN order in the instance that you need to increase that slow heart rate. So what drugs are negative chronotropes? Well, you've got beta blockers, which actually slow the heart rate. And you also have digoxin. Now digoxin is its own animal. It does both chronotropic and inotropic effects. What's important to remember is that not all drugs are just going to be strictly one thing and not the other. Sometimes they're going to cross. What's interesting about digoxin is digoxin has a negative chronotropic effect. It actually slows down the ventricular contraction, but it also improves the inotropic effect. It creates better squeeze every time the heart beats. I hope this video has really helped you guys out in learning the difference between inotropes and chronotropes. Now, head on over to nrsng.com, sign up for your trial, and as we always say, happy nursing.